FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. It's Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They're able to convert with a gain of four. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. They yeah, got a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. scoreless here in the first but a third down situation forthcoming let's get into the action play action now here's Heineke and a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield so the pass in Nothing on the scoreboard thus far, but that might very well be about to change as this offense comes up on a first and goal situation. Robinson. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. On second down now, this defense sort of finding themselves with their backs against the wall. Ball in the red zone. On second down, Swift. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. There's gone. It's complete to Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw is gone. Finding Williams once more complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. 
second and four. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit, and they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams. On defense, they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and his early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Straight ahead, Gibson. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. Appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. And they'll try to throw now, Heineke. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the draw, Robinson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Heineke. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Thomas. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Now Heineke. And he'll go right back to Thomas, complete again. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. Sly able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Throwing on third. Golf. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they will advance this across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Third down, Heineke eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Time to get back into the action. A red zone alert here. First and goal at around the eight-yard line. They'll run with Robinson. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. His second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. As his guys are able to extend their lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to keep... Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Throwing again on second down, Heineke. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So, Charles, you look at this offense, what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. Heineke's throw complete there to Thomas. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. on first down. Pro right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Goff now looks to throw, and this is going to be incomplete. This offense has marched the ball down the field nicely. In good position, can they finish the drive off? First and 10 in the red zone. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On third down, Robinson. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Robinson. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or put the... So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Again, it's Robinson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. 
They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Throwing. Heineke. It's caught. Beckham. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Robinson. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This to make it a three-score game late. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. 120 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker, at, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Commanders add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the ball. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Desperation time for Goff on four. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there. And that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get. So really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is... Defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. On fourth down, gone. Man open. It's St. Brown. He's got it. 
And he is going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage. Now they're setting up here for the onside kick. They need this football. Now can the receiving team thwart that from happening? And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, wouldn't you score? Fourth down coming up. Decision time now as this would be a long field goal attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. As this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Washington, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 through seven games. And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.